Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day as we continue through the book of Colossians. I have a question for you. How are you at developing your attitude of gratitude? You know, expressing thanks, being thankful for things. Specifically, who are the people that you're thankful for? Probably you will rattle off some friends and you'll probably rattle off some family members that you're thankful for. Hopefully you're thankful for all your family members, but I know how it goes. Sometimes you're not. But when we come to the book of Colossians and we read Paul's letter, we find that he is thankful for strangers who he's never met who are loving and following Jesus. Look at verses 3 through the first part of verse 5. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Isn't this amazing? Paul has not met these believers. He's never talked with them face to face. He has heard of their faith. And because he's heard of their faith and he's heard of the love that they have, he is thankful for them. He is praying for them. And we're actually going to look as we go through the book of Colossians at his prayer for these believers. So are you spending time being thankful for other believers who you've never met and praying for them? That is a pretty high task and it's hard to do it. But let me encourage you. It is something we should be doing. So I'm going to give you some ideas of people you can start to be thankful for today. You can be thankful for people at the other Calvary campuses. I don't know which campus you go to. Maybe you're part of our Parker campus. Maybe you're part of our online campus. Maybe you're part of the Sweetwater campus or you're at our new North campus. Wherever you are when you attend Calvary, are you thankful for our brothers and sisters at the other campuses? God is doing great work at each one of those campuses and we should be thankful for them and we should be praying for them, praying for the new campus out at North at the north end of Lake Havasu, praying for our campus that has a new building and is growing out in Parker, praying for our campus that is online, spread all over the world, praying for those who are a part of our Sweetwater and our McCulloch campus. These are all really important ministries going on and we can be thankful for what God is doing in them. Another place where you can express thanks is for the mission work that you hear going on through Calvary and through the rest of the world. There's all kinds of people coming to know Jesus, expressing their love for one another and forming into a church throughout the world. You can be thankful for what's going on in Zambia as we have churches that are starting to their own celebrate recovery programs. And we have churches that are going into the public schools there and proclaiming the gospel. You can be thankful for what's going on in Honduras as Calvary comes alongside of um, impoverished children and supports them through compassion and builds compassion centers there in Honduras. You can spend time thanking God for what's happening down in Mexico as we build houses for families in the um, Baja area. These are all ways that you can say, hey, God is doing great things and I'm so thankful for what he's doing. So today, Calvary, let me encourage you, take a few minutes Think of somebody, maybe who you have never met, but you've heard of their faith. You know that they love Jesus and they're following Jesus. And say a prayer of thanks for them and ask for them to develop that faith and that walk with God. Have a blessed day, Calvary.